Hey, this is Sean OTD. Thanks for joining me back again. I'm doing a follow-up video on Daryl's knife from The Walking Dead, aka the Bussy Team Gemini. Just gonna go ahead and start with this branch right here. That's pretty good. All right, I was staying a little easy on that first one because it was a little close to my hand. This one I can actually take a little bit more of a, a full swing at. So, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Let's try uh, do a little bit of uh, sharpening with it. Seems like it cuts pretty good. Um, gets a little bit of bite in there. Um, this is pretty wet wood. We've had some rain. It's falling off my pecan trees. So I thought I would use those for the video, special for you. So I uh, think that the, uh, the factory edge is pretty nice overall. But uh, if you want to do some real good, um, Sharpening, I think it might need a little bit better edge to it uh, than the factory starts out with. So let's try to get this thing in a good position here. Try to keep myself safe. Recently had one viewer ask me why there was so light. And if he thought that was a problem, he was looking for something heavier. And now after swinging it and doing some chopping with it, um, I have to say it does feel a little light. Uh, for it being a seven and a half inch blade, I did have the Becker BK2, which is a six inch blade made by K-Bar. And it's the same weight as this knife is at seven and a half inches. A little extra heft would help you chop a lot easier. Um, but all in all, it's still getting the job done. Um, it's just going to take a little bit more extra ump. Now remember that this is actually made for a combat knife. This isn't designed to be a bushcraft knife. So, you know, this is Team Gemini Light Brigade. Uh, it's one of their combat knives. So. If you're thinking, I'm going to be a woodsman and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to take this knife and be a woodsman, you're buying the wrong knife. Um, yes, it is light because it's going to be used for combat purposes. And I think also partially it has to do with their patented IFI steel. So, not just because of, of a skeletonized handle. So, let's do a little more chopping and uh, get through this and then we'll try some baton and test the uh, strength of the spine. So there's that portion of it. So I got all kinds of uh, little pieces of wood around me now. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do some batoning. As you can see, I'm coming down with it, and I'm hitting right here exclusively on the tip on purpose to make sure that I have plenty of space between the edge of the knife. What I'm driving through, I'm trying to hold this level so it gets an even push, and I'm trying to hit on this end to keep it balanced. But also, a real test of the knife is on the, the point part of the spine. So, if I was to hit into here, I might drive through the wood a little faster, 
but I wouldn't be showing you the strength of the tip of the knife whenever it gets wailed on by a piece of wood. So I want to show you the durability of the knife and prove it to myself. <laughs> knife seems to be stronger than the wood. That's a little too short. So let's see what we've done so far. We've done uh, almost halfway through. And as you can see on the knife, right in here is where I've been striking the blade, or the rear of the blade on the spine rather, right through here, over and over and over repetitively. So um, all in all, I think it's a great knife. Um, I think it's a very durable knife. I think that using it for the applications of which it's intended, it's fantastic. It's got a nice little place for your finger so you can get a good control over it without cutting yourself. Um, you know, it is light enough that it is easy to maneuver, so you can knife fight with it if necessary. Uh, it's also strong enough that if you drill it into a tree, you can hang from it and it should hold you just fine. It is a very, very strong knife. Still very, very impressed. Not a chip, not a mark, not a ding. And that's beating on it for a little while. Um, I think that uh, all in all, uh, I would put a little bit more, more of a uh, slanted edge to it just to give myself more chopping power and more you know, whittling and cutting power if I were going to try to do a little bit more woodsman type activity with this particular blade. But if I'm going to be in a combat-ish situation and I'm going to be prying things open and I'm going to be flaying people and not wood, I think it's just fine the way it is. So I hope this answers all your questions. And if not, please feel free to ask more and we'll continue doing more stuff. And as always, subscribe.